Hi, this instructional video is about markup or markdown, percent markup and markdown. The markdown is sometimes known as the discount. Let me demonstrate number one and you could try number two on your own. So number one, we have a price that was originally $2,000. Now it's on sale for $1,500. So this is obviously a markdown, a discount. Some business would do that to attract the customers or to maybe get rid of the inventory. And so to mark down or first we have to find out what the discount amount is. To find the discount, what you want to do is take the regular price minus the sale price. So in this case, the discount is regular price, which was $2,000 minus the sale price, which is $1,500. So the actual discount is $500. Oh, that's a huge discount. So what you do is then, you take the discount amount and you divide that by the original base, the original amount. And that'll give you the percent discount. So in this case, the discount amount is 500 and you're going to divide that by the original amount, which was 2000 And of course, if I used the base 10 rule, I could knock out the two zeros from the numerator and do the same with the denominator. I have 5 over 20. I teach the students to find the quotient by saying, take the top number and put it inside. So we get 5 divided by 20. Does 20 go into 5? No. So put a 0 and a decimal on top. Does 20 go into 5? Two times. And 20 goes into 100? Five times. And 0.25 is a decimal. To make that into a percent, you move it twice to the right, it becomes 25%. And that is a discount or the markdown for this problem. So why don't you try number two? All right. So now numbers are getting a little fuzzy here. <laughs> So, and we're talking about money. I don't like to make mistakes when it comes to money or running a business. So in this case, what I would have done is, you guessed it, use the calculator. Well, so in this case, if I follow the same pattern, what you want to do is determine the discount amount, which is the regular price minus the sale price. So let's show the work. So it is discount is the regular price minus the sale price. Making sure I don't make a mistake, 153 minus 99 is $54. So I'm getting a discount of $54. That's a good discount. So now I have to find a percent of the discount because the entire concept of this lesson is about percent. Is to take that discount amount, 54, and divide that by the original amount. In this case, the original or the regular was 153. Thank heavens, we have a calculator to determine that one. So we get 54 divided by 153. My calculator says if I round off to the nearest hundredth, well, how about 10 thousandths? I get 0.3529. And to make that into a percent, I just move the decimal to the right twice, one, two, I get 35.29%. So just over 35% discount. Okay? Just make sure your teacher says it's okay to use the calculator. As long as you show the work, you're understanding the concept. Okay? So now let's move on to what if instead of a discount, for example, if you run a business, let's say you want to buy, you want to sell skateboards. You want to sell totally assembled skateboards. So you buy it from another country or a manufacturer on a wholesale price. That's what the manufacturer charges you. So you buy it from them. Well, it's not 35 cents, of course. <laughs> Whatever this is, 35 cents. And you want to sell it at a higher price to the customers at 99 cents. So what's the mark up? How much is the mark up? So to find that, what you do 
is, in this case, to determine the markup this time, you have to take the retail price, what you're charging the customer, minus what it's costing you, the wholesale price. The, the, the price that you're gonna charge the customer minus what the, the, the manufacturer is charging you. So in this case, what you're charging the customer, the markup, is 99 cents, that's the retail. Minus what you're charging the customer, which is 35 cents. I don't need a calculator for that. 99 cents minus 35 cents turns out to be 64 cents. So now what do you do with that markup? Well, you take that markup now amount to find the percent, that is. You take that markup and divide it by the wholesale. What you paid originally, because what you paid originally, okay, you add up the markup to it. So you're gonna multiply the quotient. So in this case, so markup was 34 Whoops, <laughs> wrong section. I'm sorry, you're supposed to do this one. Scratch that, literally. So your markup was 64 cents. And to find the percent of the markup, divide that by the original amount that it cost you at 35 cents. Okay? So now, you use your calculator, because I don't want to make a mistake when it comes to money. 0.64 or 0.64 divided by 0.35 or 0.35, you get 1.828, round it up to the, I don't know, the thousands place, I get six. And if you make that to a percent, that is gonna be one, two to the right. So 182.86%, wow, 182%. You more than doubled the original amount added on and charge the customer for it. Here, why don't you try number four on your own then? All right, so you said to find the markup, I have to first take what I'm charging the customers, $34.99 minus what it cost me to get that, which is $24.99. So the markup happens to be $34.99 minus what it cost me to get it, which is $24.99. We should have to make a profit, don't you? That's $10. You're adding on $10 to what it cost you to get it, and you're charging it to the customer, so you make a profit of 100. Well, not really a profit, but you're gonna use that to pay for other costs. <laughs> so now you take that to find a percent, you take that $10 markup, divided by the base, what it cost you originally okay, which was $24.99. So you could determine how much you actually increase the price. So 10 divided by $24.99, in this case you get 0 .400, round up to the nearest thousandth, or 10 thousandths, I get two. So move the decimal to the right twice, you end up with 40.02% markup. I hope that helps you with your homework. Markup and markdown. Real math. Good luck.